Hi, my name is Tom Schultz. I'm the founder and CEO of Divine Inspirations. My company has developed a new disruptive software technology that we believe will revolutionize many industries. The first application of this technology has been packaged in a healthcare web application called Google RX. This video will demonstrate how Google RX can be used by medical coders to greatly reduce the time required to determine appropriate medical codes to assign to healthcare services performed on patients. Medical coders are required to have extensive knowledge in anatomy, physiology, medical diagnoses, and medical procedures. The path to certification requires intense memorization in these areas. Imagine, as a medical coder, being able to cut portions of a doctor's notes and being able to simply paste them into a web application that returns a list of codes corresponding to the pasted notes. Google Rx provides such capability. The following demonstration makes a case for this bold claim, along with a demonstration of many other powerful Google Rx capabilities. Google Rx has a very simple interface. The user types in health-related search criteria and then presses carriage return or presses the button labeled Execute Rx Search. Google Rx provides very powerful search and compute inference capabilities to the general public as well as healthcare providers, healthcare payers, clinical researchers, population health managers, and medical coders. Let's look at a simple example for medical coders. Diabetes retinopathy. This query returns a list of medical concepts associated with diabetes retinopathy. Every concept has medical vocabulary codes associated with it. We can see these codes by making the following modification. If we scroll through the list, we will see a number of vocabulary systems being used. We see ID-10, ICD-9, MESH and the FRT, SNOMED. If we want, we can restrict our list. Let's say we would like to only look at ICD-9 and ICD-10 codes. We can make the following modification. ICD-9-CM and ICD-10-CM codes for diabetes retinopathy. And here are the results. Google Rx can be used to return codes for lots of different kinds of medical concepts. Consider the following. Codes for lab tests associated with diabetes. And so we see over 1,200 rows here of various concepts associated with diabetes. Let's consider a more complex example for medical coders. Consider the following. SNOMED codes for steroid drugs treating gastrointestinal diseases. And it's a query Google Rx can easily handle returning 294 rows. Besides serving as a highly useful tool for medical coders, Google Rx provides many other powerful capabilities for the general public, healthcare providers, clinical researchers, healthcare payers, and population health managers. Consider the following examples. Google Rx provides the ability to explore potential drug harm danger to family members. Imagine you have the following drugs in your medicine cabinet. Prednisone, Advil, Avalox, and Percodin. And you would like to know if any of these drugs have any reported harmful side effects. To accomplish this, you add the following. Harm caused by. Let's sort the list via the harm reported column. What we see is drug abuse is the most reported harmful condition. 
let's drill into the summary here, 1151. And let's now sort on the count column. And we see oxycodone is the drug with the most number of reports. Turns out Percodin contains oxycodone. So among our four drugs we listed in our medicine cabinet, it's Percodin that we have to be most concerned about. In addition to learning about reported harmful side effects of these drugs, we would also like to know if there are any potential side effects of taking any combination of these drugs at the same time. To accomplish this, we make the following change. Drug interactions associated with prednisone, Advil, Avalox, and Percodin. we see 110 harmful combinations of these various drugs. Google Rx provides the ability to research current healthcare topics found in the news. Consider the May 5th, 2015 article entitled, The Three Deadliest Drugs Are Legal. At number one, we see tobacco, followed by alcohol, followed by opiate painkillers. Let's use Google Rx to research opiate drugs. We can type in the following, harm caused by opiate drugs. Let's sort on harm reported. And we discover drug abuse is the most reported side effect of opiate drugs. Let's drill down and let's sort on the count column here. And we see that heroin has the most number of reports of drug abuse, followed close behind by oxycodone drugs. Google Rx is extremely valuable to healthcare professionals, such as healthcare payers and population health managers, who are trying to manage healthcare costs. Google Rx can be used to research the amount of money the government has spent on diseases such as diabetes or a group of diseases such as autoimmune disease, or a body part such as the pancreas, or a group of body parts such as the endocrine system, or a drug such as oxycodone, or a group of drugs such as opiates. Consider the following. 2014 government cost associated with opiate drugs. Google Rx returns the following. We see a number of columns. We see a column labeled drug cost. This particular number represents the total dollars spent by the federal government on this particular drug. We see another column labeled total criteria cost. The criteria in this case are opiate drugs. So we see that the federal government spent over $4 billion last year on opiate drugs. This next column is labeled total drug cost. This represents the total number of dollars spent by the federal government across all drugs. Opiate drugs, like most drugs, have many side effects. Let's use Google Rx to research the number of dollars spent on treating the side effects of opiate drugs. We can do this as follows. We changed the original query to read as follows. 2014 government cost associated with drugs treating harm caused by opiate drugs. And here are the results. Google Rx can be a very powerful tool enabling clinical researchers and healthcare providers to perform tasks such as tracking down patients in a network of hospitals for activities such as clinical trials. Consider the following. Aurora hospitals in southern Wisconsin with patients taking opiate drugs. 
Aurora Healthcare is a network of hospitals and healthcare facilities throughout Wisconsin and Northern Illinois. Executing this query returns the following. What we see is the following. We see a number of Aurora hospitals having a variety of patients. These patients taking a number of drugs which are classified as opiate drugs. You have just witnessed a demonstration of Google Rx. The examples illustrate the use of Google Rx by an average person to perform powerful search and compute capabilities in seconds or minutes. What normally could take weeks or months to achieve by a team of highly skilled technical professionals. Google Rx represents the first of a revolutionary new breed of applications supporting a disruptive new knowledge inference search and compute paradigm created by Divine Inspirations. The demonstration version of Google Rx you witnessed utilized a small set of reported drug harm data from the FDA, drug cost data from CMS's Medicaid drug rebate program, and fabricated data representing fictitious patient data from our Aurora hospitals. The healthcare knowledge base UMLS from the National Library of Medicine was used to classify this underlying data. The powerful knowledge inference search and compute capabilities demonstrated utilized a software technology called TCSQL from Divine Inspirations. The production version of Google Rx will be readily available in the fall of 2015. Use of Google Rx to the general public will be free of charge. If you are a healthcare provider, a healthcare payer, population health manager, clinical researcher, medical coder, or a law firm, and you wish to become a customer of Google Rx, please contact me as follows. I hope you enjoyed watching this demonstration and thank you for your time.